Well, it looks like we've got it. Yeah, it's a video I was rather hoping we didn't have to make. I'm going to touch my face then again. <laughs> it seems like I've come down with all the symptoms of uh, coronavirus. I've got the flu-like symptoms. I've got this really bad cough. It's really raw down here. Tired, lack of appetite, etc. So I've been on the NHS um, website and gone through all the motions, and uh, we're self-isolating now. Completely self-isolating. The rich, um, well, neither of us can go out apart from for one hour's exercise a day. We can't visit shops. It says you can't leave the house for any reason apart from an hour's exercise. Can't even go for medication and food. You have to get somebody to do that for you. That'd be interesting. Fortunately, we have stocked up and we're, we might be on rice and lentils by the end of the week. But um, we've probably got enough food to, get to us last through. And I've I... made sure I've got enough dog food because I don't want them going without. So... I have to self-isolate for seven days and at the end of the seven days if my temperature's okay and I can start going out to the shops uh, once a day poor old Fran has to self-isolate now for 14 days <laughs> at least because if I get yeah <laughs> 14 days from yesterday when the symptoms uh, reared their ugly head but it's fine as far as surviving is okay you know we, we've got everything we need we're on a fairly quiet towpath and there's lots and lots of wood just along in the, well it's a hedgerow, it's a little wooded bank, loads of rotted wood up there. So I can take the dogs out, I'll either go dawn or dusk when there aren't many people about because yeah. it has been a busy towpath and I think that's because the local villagers are using it to walk and run and get their exercise which is fine, you know, what? that's what they're supposed to do, go isolate, you know, go yeah. quiet and get exercise, but that's what we'll do. We've got a water hole a bit behind us, but I'm hoping we can last for a week now. We just have to just limit our water, limit our washing up. And if anybody was going to get it, it's going to be me first, because I'm always susceptible to colds and flu. I have mild asthma, which... Um, Seems to be getting worse as I get older, but uh, anyway, I don't. We have wondered whether it's the fire in the past, haven't we? To, yeah. that's, that's doing that. That's something yeah. to be looked into, but but um, mm. I'm okay. I can breathe fine. Uh, I've got out of bed because lying down just makes me keep coughing. So I'm up right now and uh, waiting for Fram to sort my breakfast out. It's in the oven. Bread's in the oven. So normal videos will not be happening as you gathered and. Uh, <laughs> We will still video, but it'll be a bit different. It'll just be <laughs> on the boat. So, well, uh, best wishes to you all. Hope you all uh, are feeling good and fine and uh, doing the right thing. I feel for all of you that are in isolation. Well, I think most of the world is in lo some sort of lockdown now. Yeah. But for those of you that are really isolated now, I hope you've got people looking after you. hope you get the help you need. Thank goodness we've got the internet now. We will certainly be watching some YouTube channels and videos to keep us uh, occupied. So we'll let you know in a few days how things are going. And uh, goodbye. Best wishes. Look at the fed up dogs. <laughs> Oh, it's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> we meant to be Bye. In the great outdoors Forever free